Hello, welcome to another Rust tutorial. I just want to start off by saying thanks to everyone who supported me recently. Uh, it's always appreciated. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and if you're enjoying the content, a like would be awesome as well. Okay, let's get started. So today, we're going to do another video on the SAM turret. Uh, it's quite an important game mechanic now, so uh, a lot of you have been asking for various videos concerning this. What we have today is, you see over there on the uh, shore, that's going to be our remote way of turning off and on the SAM turret when we fly overhead. So uh, yeah, let's, let's no clip over there and I'll show you what we're going to do. Now, the base you have on the shore here, you could have it in a full, fully constructed base if you, if you want, or you could have it in a base that looks raided, as long as the uh, main components are kind of sealed off and safe. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a power source, which we're going to use our trusty generator. Again, for anyone that doesn't already know, it's not in the main game, hopefully will be soon. Um, okay, so we're going to use the RF broadcaster. Let me just turn off no clip. Okay, so we're going to place a broadcaster. We're then going to use the HBHF sensor. We're going to take power to our sensor. And the power out goes into our RF broadcaster. We're now going to set the frequency to 9999. And that is that bit done. We're now going to fly back over to our main base. Okay, so now we set up our RF receiver. We set up our memory cell. And we set up our splitter. So we're going to take power from our power source into our splitter. We're going to take power to our memory cell and we're going to take power into our receiver now the power out will go into toggle on the memory cell and then output goes into our trusty siren light and the pass through if I can find it goes into our sound turret. Okay, so just go through this again. Power source goes into the splitter. You take one power over into the memory cell. The next power out goes into the receiver and the power out goes into toggle on the memory cell. The output then goes into the siren light and the pass through goes into the sound turret. So currently you can see the SAM turret is off. Okay, we're going to fly over here and trigger our HBHF sensor to turn our turret on. Okay, so now you can see the siren lights go in and power is getting to our SAM turret. That's active. And this is how it works. So we're going to no clip round to our waiting minicopter. So the idea is simply when you fly past the HBHF sensor, this will deactivate the turret. There you go, and that allows you to safely return to your base without getting shot down by your own turret. Uh, the simple way, again, is when we want to fly back out, we simply fly over the shore base. It doesn't have to be a shore base, it could just be a base. As long as it's out of range of the SAM turret, it can be anywhere. So yeah, let's uh, fly over and reactivate.
And now if we no clip back over to the main base again, there you go, you can see just flying past the HBHF sensor has turned the turret on again, making the area safe from enemy while we're out flying. As long as you always remember to fly past that when you're coming back, otherwise you're going to get a nasty surprise. Uh, yeah, I hope this is uh, going to be of help to some of you out there. I hope you've enjoyed watching, um, and thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.